hello YouTube. Um, sorry for the hello. I meant to say hello if it sounds like hello, but hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a set on the Rebel like Walker or something in the Rebels in the Rebels um era when Rebels was. I I don't even watch the show show so I don't know much about it. Um. Honestly, I think, even though I have no idea what, like, barely any idea what Rebels is, I did see a clip where this was running over, like, walkers, so I think it's pretty cool. And I think it actually resembles the the thing from the show as well. So, um, let's get on to the minifigs, and then we'll talk about the walker. Okay, so, here you have Gregor. Um... He has the printed torso and no printing on the arms or legs or he has barely any back printing. It's just like show that he's wearing something. I don't know. Doesn't have a back face, so that's pretty much just Gregor. Only printing on him. Then you have Commander Wolf, which I think looks pretty cool, honestly. Um I love uh, the mustache. Has a pretty good stash, don't you think? Um, I like like the dirty looking. It almost looks like his Clone Wars um, torso. You have the eye, and you have the back printing, and black arms and gray legs. So next you uh, have. Um, Commander Captain Rex, which everybody should know him if they watch Clone Wars. He's a big celebrity. He has the little grin. Also, he has a stash. They're all brothers, by the way. Um, he has the uh, Clone Wars looking torso. No printing on the legs or arms. Also has pretty much the same as Commander Wolf back there. So, we have a new bad guy that we've never seen before. Completely forget his name, but I'm gonna call him Green Face. Um, Green Face here has a hat. He has some pretty nice printing, though. I love his printing. How much detail? You have even the red little buttons, the silver things. They put a lot of detail into this character. I like it. You have his belt, printing on his legs. No printing on his arms. He has the new lightsaber here, which is pretty much a double with a circle around it and then you have the back printing there no printing on the back of the legs but and then you got the normal boring stormtrooper that everybody knows just helmet and I am booing yeah we all know so, we all know the Stormtrooper. We went through the minifigs. Now, I'm going to move them away. Ooh, well, not like that. I was going to move it better, but... So, I'm going to move the figs away. I'm going to throw this one away. Like, not actually throw it away, but bye. And let's get on to the giant... I don't know why I said giant. The giant walker thing. Ugh. Okay, so we have in the front have a little like diamond lamp under there. It just hangs onto a piece down there. Um also on the front ish area you got um places where you can put minifigs if you want to look out or whatever. These uh Bars here do move, and then you have lanterns that move up and down on both sides. Um, you have the ball guns here that can move that way and that way. And then, if we just move that to the side, I'll get to that in a second. We have the cockpit, which just opens. Have a little thing in there. See the hook? See the little hook piece there? You just pull that out, and you set your minifigure in there. 
I'm going to put Gregor in there. Um, like that. You got to put their, their arms up because otherwise it doesn't fit. Oh, he fell off. You got to put their arms up because otherwise it doesn't fit in the actual the figure. doesn't actually fit in the cockpit. It's a little dark in there, but you can see him. Okay, so, and just shuts. Up here, we have the gigantic cannon. We also have some nice stickers, both sides. Um, gigantic cannon, who can move full 360. Actually, that thing stops it, but on this side, it can move pretty much full 360. Um, uh, yeah, it can move full 360 up pretty high, and you fit a missile in there, it's the spring shooter missiles, I just have these ones, the red ones, they wouldn't be shooting red ones, I don't think, but they would probably be shooting blue, but this is just to demonstrate, it's just one of those ones where you just push down, it goes far. Um, in the show, though, it shows in the part that you see this before it gets destroyed that I saw, you see Captain Rex gunning. So, I'm going to put Captain Rex, as you can see, and then this just folds back if you want. Um, just going to put him in there. Also got some stickers. Um... So, you also have, like, these ladders to get up. I don't know what these are. And then you have, um, that. Now, I kind of messed up on this because the wooden leg over there, uh, if you can see, the wooden leg was supposed to be on that side. kind of messed up, but I kind of like how it looks, where you can look at it one side and the legs look great and you can look on the other side and they look ugly and messy well the middle one doesn't look messy but it's different <sighs> okay so now it has a little handle right here just pulls up and pulls down and you can just hold it it's a little front heavy so okay so you get an extra rope you get like an extra rope piece and you get like an extra panel piece. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard. It's a little like panel. I don't know. I just connected these. Um, it's hanging on there, so might as well show you. You have this little thing, which I have no idea what it is. You have like a little red bang blinky thing that blinks. Bing, bing. And then you have this, where actually one of the ships can actually land. I don't have the ship, because I am not. I was never really a fan of the Rebels. This was probably the only set that I really wanted in Rebels, because it was big, it looked cool. These are two big stickers. Um, it's a pretty decent space for landing some ships. I mean, of course, you couldn't fit a like a... Well, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I may have to test that, but... I don't know if you're able to fit, like, a Y-Wing. I don't think you will. Maybe the front, but the whole thing won't be on here. It's not that big. Here, I'm just going to show you a minifigure that's on there. It's probably three minifigures. Let's see. Let's measure. We're doing math in this show. So, it's just a little less than three minifigures. Touching feet to head. Um, so, as you can see, you have a ladder, these ladders in here, uh, you have a crane, these cranes, these cranes, uh, these cranes move up and down, like that, uh, they have little boxes on them, and the boxes have, one has, uh, here, hold on, one has a little pistol in it. Just trying to get that thing back on there. Here, I'm just going to set it. 
down. They dropped the crate. It broke off. No. And then the other side has another crane with, um, there we go. Actually got it off correctly. Awesome. With, um, this one has some detonate detonators in it. As you can see in there, though. Little detonators. Yeah, you got yeah, they they put in the in the instructions it shows to put two of them, but they you get an extra by the end of the set, so I just put three. Uh, yeah, three. So you get three, and you have two detonators. Well, they want you to. And then you have a pistol. Um, on this side, you have a little post. And on this side, you have a little post as well. Um, you have this little ladder that can come down like that. And just comes down. You can hang down. And then um, you get to this. This is not even, like, hooked in. You just pull it off, put it on, and it stays on there. See, I'm wiggling it right now, and it's not coming off them. Only thing it, you, it can come off, it, only way it can come off is if you lift it up. That's the bottom, if you want to see that. Um, inside, in there, you have, like, a giant worm on the screen or something with a coffee cup. I want to try to get the best lighting in there, but I don't know how without breaking anything like I just did. I don't know, but I think I think you get okay lighting. Um, as you can see, you may not get the best lighting, but in there, there's a little pull on that side, and on the other side, you also have another. You don't have a pull, but there's like a staircase, and you can set minifigs in there. Let's just show. Let's just put the only other good guy we got, Commander Wolf, in there. He's just analyzing. He's just he's just putting his thinking brain on thinking cap. Hmm. I need my thinking cap. There we go. So, um it, it has a door, sticker. That's a little panel. That's the little panel panel. The door can open, of course. There's little stairs. Well, that's pretty much the Lego set. I mean, you can put more people there, I guess, and you can fold up the ladder. But I think I pretty much covered everything there is to cover. Um, I would say this is a great Lego set for playability and the way it looks. Because you can set minifigures almost anywhere. And you can also crush people. Hee <laughs> Baba, I'm alive, Bob. Never mind. And the bad guy um, can do like some special tricks and chop off a leg. And you can also do this where they like build a wooden leg. They build the wooden leg and just put it there. I don't know. He's cool. I kind of like him. Oh, he ex he also has a back face. Forgot to show you. His back face, because he actually has one. He has an angry back face. Let's see. There, got it focused. Okay. Well, um, that is the Lego Star Wars Rebels, um, walker thing. Yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, whatever the heck you want to do. I'll try to answer, respond to as many comments as I get. And I will respond to the first 20, 25 comments. Okay? Well, bye YouTube. 
Have a good day.